Oh, hey friends. So I had just finished a presentation with the JEDI program. The, you're gonna laugh, I had to write it down. I had to get these letters right. Okay, it's the Graduate Education Diversity Internship. You've probably heard of it, JEDI program within the American Evaluation Association. Anyway, we were talking about how to communicate data in presentations, which is not the same as reports. How you format graphs for reports versus slides versus dashboards a little bit different formatting needed. And I was showing some of the people the behind the scenes on some of my PowerPoint slides. And one of the women was like, wait, 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 <laughs> time out. What are those sections or whatever they're called? So the sections, they are called sections. They're here, right? So they're some behind the scenes clues for me as the presenter to keep myself organized. And I thought, you know what, this is such a cool tip. Nobody ever taught me about sections in school. I actually learned it, I think, by watching somebody else's mouse move on the slide. And I had the same reaction. I was like, wait a second, time out. Those are so cool. Like, what do you, what do you mean you organize your content like that? It looks so easy to follow as you're designing your slides. So anyway, I started to write a blog post with some screenshots to show you how to make sections and... Who am I kidding? I can't, I can't show you sections in paragraphs. I need to just, I need to show you, okay? So let me show you a couple different things. I wanna show you four things in this tutorial. So we're gonna talk about what sections are, a quick demo. Then I'm gonna show you how to add and rename them. And then how I use them to hide topics and how I use them to reorder topics. It should be really easy. It should be pretty quick. Okay, so first up, what are sections? They're these, so I'm zoomed out in slide sorter view. My webcam's covering up the picture, but it's those little squares in the bottom right corner, slide sorter view, and you can see them, right? I've got these words here. Those are sections, okay? That's it, those are the sections. Your audience doesn't see them, it's for us. It's our little secret that we get to, to have working for us and helping us behind the scenes. All right, second up, the key part, how do you add these? How, how, where do they come from? So let's pretend, let's see, this section was about visual frameworks, what they are, how to make them, how to use, I don't know, this is already organized into sections. Let's just pretend it's not. Let's pretend there were no sections and you wanted to add them. You would click on the slide where you want to start a new section or a new topic, right? Like think of it like chapters in your talk, okay? So where do you wanna add a new topic? Let's just pretend right here. Why not? We'll do this one. You click on that slide, right click, and add a section. That's it, that's all there is to it, okay? So you get a little pop-up menu, you get to name it, we'll call it Anne's new section, right? And then you see Anne's new section right here. So far so good? Two thumbs up, okay, cool. Topic number three in this lesson, how do I use them? Why do we need these? How do they exactly help us as presenters? Well, how it helps me is it helps me hide topics. Like think about where the, the buckets are of my talk and then hide and unhide as needed. So let's pretend that I'm prepping to go speak to a group. I like to keep all of my slides under one roof in one single file. So. This is my powerful presentation slide deck that has 927 slides in it. You know, so this is the whole universe of what I might talk about in a powerful presentations presentation. But I'm not gonna cover all 927 with a group. So with this group that I just talked to, we just had an hour. So I get to go through the slide deck and hide and unhide. And I, I, you know, I just do it like this. So let's pretend that this group, let's say I didn't wanna add how to use these visual frameworks and little icons. I would just select all the slides in that section, right click, and I hide them. I love hiding because we're not deleting the slides. They're still there for us. They're still there. Sometimes it gets very stressful to think about deleting slides or letting go of content, so don't worry, we're not deleting them but our audience doesn't see them. So if I went to like regular slideshow view, the audience would see this one, not even know the next batch was there and immediately see that one, 
okay? So it just helps me think like, should I cover this topic? Yes, okay, let's keep that shown. Should I cover this topic? Nah, not as relevant given the, given the time constraints, just hide it. Okay, topic number four, fourth and final one for this tutorial, how I use sections to reorder topics. Amazing. I love this one. I love this one. Now, of course, we do some prep before we do our presentations. I usually make outlines too in a, in a Google Doc or a Word Doc or, you know, I'm a spreadsheet person. So sometimes I make my outlines in spreadsheets, but I feel like they're never fully, fully finalized when I'm doing that outlining. So I like to tweak the order of my topics later. I think of my sections like a table of contents for my presentation. Okay, so you can go like this. You right click on your section name, any one of them, and you can collapse them, collapse all. And then in a second, it's gonna take a while because <laughs> this, is a, this is a 927 slide deck. Yours isn't gonna take you know the five seconds mine took, but do you see how it turns into a table of contents? Again, for us, this doesn't help the, the audience. They don't even know this is here behind the scenes, but it's for us. And then you reorder them, right? Like, oh, let me put this storyboarding example um, up one, right? Maybe I wanna talk about this one first or so on. You can, you can just reorder them really quickly. And then when you wanna see them again, obviously you just, you do the opposite of what you just did. You go from collapse all to expand all. It's gonna take a minute. Hopefully my computer won't freeze. All right, that's it. My computer for it, we'll see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Those are sections. Enjoy, stay in touch if you use them and let me know how you liked them. I hope you like them, they're so quick. Click on the slide, right click, add a section. That's all there is to it.